We return to the adventures of King Paolini the Dragon Slayer of the Iron Throne. Yesterday, we basically spent all day trying to get a, a Valyrian Steel Sword, which eventually we succeeded with, and I have renamed to, rather than having ice, because I figured having ice around might, might raise a few eyebrows from House Stark, who might be interested in taking the sword back. I've renamed it to Light Claw's Bane, which is obviously the dragon that we slew, but... It is very clearly a different sword because this isn't ice. This is quite clearly like cold play. Anyway, um, we've got we've got that dealt with. What we need to do is focus on our end game goal. And to be honest, we're not actually that far away from it, all things considered. My little lie, we are, but we really aren't. A couple of plots, and we're in a great position here. So we're currently in the middle of trying to flip the stormlands back to the control of House Martin. Um, the first things first, we will carry on with this. Oh, what's the smell? I have to find out. Oh no! Hang on, it's foul me. Hang on a minute. Uh, there's a chance we can get Iron Stomach from this one. Oh, it's the same event as before, but this one isn't the cannibalism. Um, yeah, go on then. 25% chance of Iron Stomach, which of course is incredible. 10% chance of Brave. We got Iron Stomach. Hey, that's fantastic. Permanent plus one health there. Very nice. Um, but yeah, realistically, just a little bit of, of uh, bonus to our plot power here against the Reach. Some of our George powers, perhaps, put some of those dead Baratheons to work. Then we can secure the Stormlands again. Really, what, what it actually comes down to is, can we secure the rest of these territories before we lose them to succession and uprisings and things like that? That's really going to be the difficulty here. Will the Baratheons be able to come back and conquer these places before we can, you know, get everything else in the Martin dynasty? So, let's hit this hard and fast. Let's get rid of this guy as soon as possible. So, I'm going to hit him with an adaptation. We're going we're gonna to spend all of our points here. Oh, that, that's literally all of it gone already. Was that even enough to really convince people to fuck him up? Uh, 97%. No, it was not. Other things we can do. Great suggestion here from Sir Thor the Swede. We could make it so that we have a higher realm authority. What would that do? Well, the effects of that, the secondary effect there, as you can see, is vassals are now obligated to, intent to end internal wars of aggression when commanded by their liege. What does that mean? Well, that means if they declare a war and the person that they declare a war on asks us to stop and we do that and we actually tell them to stop, they have to stop. Otherwise, the consequence of that is we can brand them a traitor, we can grant their claims to other people, or I think we can even go as far as revoking their title. So... That would be a fantastic first step to maintaining our Martin sovereignty, maintaining our our power over the realm. Oh, God, this is going to be expensive, isn't it? 80, wow, 80, really? 85 gold? Why? She hasn't got charitable. She's just, she's just cheap to bribe. That's fine by me. Okay, get those guys involved as soon as possible. 134%. Let's also move our spy master back from Lorath, I assume. Oh, Noi, apparently. Um, down to here to help build up our spy network. I also want to bribe some of our... Counselors here, seeing as these guys are going to be the ones that determine whether or not we can pass that law. Speaking of which, let's see how we're looking on that one. Um, so Davos, Jackio, Draymond, everybody is against our our law change. I think we're going to have to start bribing some people. They all owe favors to Advisor Bonifer, the man we are plotting against. So Advisor Bonifer is going to be Advisor No More. Sack him. Get him out of here. Let's put on the council instead. Oh, Edric, Lord Paramount of the West. Edric Martin. Yes, another fellow Lord Paramount, another fellow Martin. More importantly, a loyalist, which is what we're really after here. All right, how are they, how are they looking now with the Realm Authority? Um, oh, that alone has changed it. So, Jackie O'Drockid, uh, Jamond, Marissa, and the High Septon are the only ones potentially voting against it. Why don't I try and bribe these guys a little bit? Uh, so, Jackie is up for a bribe. High Septon is up for a bribe. Uh, Jamond was another one. He's up for bribing. Was it Davos as well? Davos is not down for it, but I'll make him King's Justice. Now let's see how we're looking. Yep, I'll take it. So it's just Jackie and Marissa now. That's fine. That is a safe law I think we can pass. Now, bear in mind that there are obviously way more people who are actually capable of voting in the Game of Thrones, but it can make it a bit more dangerous to, to do these laws. It only takes a couple of, or one dissenting, uh, counselor to buy everybody's favors as we saw there to completely lock it down. So, um, obviously that's true of the base game as well, but you've got more chance. The point I was trying to make there is you've got more chance of descending councillors because you have way more councillors. We're getting dangerously close to a democracy here, and we have the better story that makes us the better king. That's just how it, that's how it be like. My bodyguard, Quentin Tarth, is supposed to die to get married? I don't fucking care. That, that's what we should rename that button to, the I don't fucking care button. Because honestly, I really could not give less of a shit about every single one of my courtiers getting married. Come on. I might... 
Oh, yeah, there we go. We're good. Okay, I was going to say they should go through, but there might be in that time somebody who suddenly changes opinion based on a gift disappearing or, a, or an artifact or something like that. Something weird happening. Okay, we're good. Realm Authority is set to medium then. What that means is if Dawn declares war and the aggressor or the defender asks us to step in, we can name Dawn as the aggressor and we can name them a traitor. Same applies to the Reach, same applies to the Stormlands, and eventually the same will apply to the Mountain of the Vale in the North when we get those back as well. And the Iron Islands, don't forget. So that is going to be a fairly big deal for us right there. We've restricted quite heavily the rights of our people. More importantly, it'll make them dislike us more because we just raised Realm Authority. Um, minus 15, more likely... Will they now be to... Oh, God, I've gone Yoda. Hang on. More likely now... They're more likely to go into Rebellion. That's what I was trying to say, but apparently the words for it just weren't there. Um, speaking of which... Oh, God, look at this. Emperor Mayris for the Iron Throne. You can fuck off with that. House Mosgood. All oh, right. Are we still in blood feud with those guys? No, they just don't give a shit anymore. To be fair, it has been many, many, many generations since then. They're just being troublemakers. Maybe some bad blood is still there a little bit. Um, and then we're just trying to keep our regular vassals maybe somewhat happier because this is a bit risky. Oh, God, they're, they're getting worse. The uh, <laughs> the factions are getting worse and worse here. It's, it's this guy joining a load of new ones and powering them where they wouldn't be. Okay. Um, oh, Lord Gast the Bullock there used a favor on him. Fair enough. Right, how are we looking? Speaking of which, 128. Kind of surprised that some of them didn't leave the plot, given that we just obviously pissed them off by changing that law, but that's okay. What next, then? We need to be keeping on top of feasts. We need to be keeping on top of some affairs. Anything that can help improve opinion. Now, here's one thing I very rarely do in the Game of Thrones one, and it used to be the case that this had quite a hefty tax modifier associated with it, which is why I don't do it too much. But we should establish a household guard. So this will give us a group of very, very loyal, but very small household guards that we could command to do various stuff. Now, I very rarely use it in... Um, in the Game of Thrones mod. Commander of the Household Guard. Who should we give it to? Someone we trust, preferably. I'd love to give it to this guy, the Master of Ships, but he is a dick. I mean, I would trust him normally. Bear in mind, he was the guy that we had educate our character. Um, or at least, you know, he had uh, he had duelist and everything else going on there. Orin, I guess you all do. So now we should be able to command them and tell them to do various things for us. Command the Household Guard. There we go. Prove my levies. Um... So we can increase the tax modifier, a lot of the tax modifier, increase the revolt risk, and increase the levy reinforcement rate. We can uh, increase the levy size, lower taxes. To be fair, that's probably not too bad for us. In times of peace, to be drilling our soldiers, given that flat levy size in exchange for tax modifier and reinforcement rate when they're already at maximum anyway, that's not too bad. Um, what else can we command them to do? There's got to be just some generic job. Defend King Sanic. That seems pretty good. Over the coming months, the defenses shall be improved. Oh, so we just spent 125 gold to have him do that. Uh, let's go visit the city. Burn the land. Bring order to the streets. Tyrannical government. That seems kind of appropriate. We lose tax and supply, but we get plot power increased by 10%. Is that just in King's Landing, though? Spend lavishly on food. Lose the trait fat. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure that that's quite accurate, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, what the fuck? I tried to set up a moment, someone is holding me down. It's a burly armsman with the trustworthy faith I promoted to guard last week. Another assailant trying to force rags my mouth, holding my nose too, can't breathe. Sir Ella de Faringcross sends his regards. We're dead. We're, who's our heir? Uh, how did he come out? I never checked in the end. Oh, he's not finished his education yet, but he is incredible. Holy shit, is this the end of King... I mean, it is the end. We know that's... King Paolini the Dragon Slayer. So obsessed with with glory and prestige and honor and dragons and grand adventure. Put his whole reputation on the line to gain that Valyrian Seal Sword. And now he's dead as dicks. Murdered. By Sir Elod the Spider. What a shocker. We'll deal with him in a minute. King Melville of the Iron Throne. The genius. Dynastic stain. Minus 10 opinion. Tyrannical stain. Minus 10 opinion. Envious. Proud. Honest, but he's brave. He's cruel, though. Oh, God, this character's a bit of a mixed bag. I also hate your wife. She needs to go for a start. Request a divorce. No. Oh, piss off, High Septon. Great. Okay, well, honestly, King Melville's in an incredible character, so we we're I'm not going to lose too much sleep over this one. And it's reorganized our treasury. Fantastic. Just what we needed. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get everything equipped then before we unpause here. Let's make sure our guy's off on the best sort of... Uh, off on the best foot here. Um... Crown of Majesty, yeah, that's a better one than what we've got on right now. Um, what books have we got? We, we do have some extra books I noticed that are a lot better than what, they, what I had equipped previously. Like Diplomacy plus one. I'd rather have that right now. Personal Combat Skill plus five. Unequip that one. That gives damage. One of them gave them... Uh, 
Oh, that's really good. Claim fabrication speed plus 10% is insane. One of them I noticed gave uh, intrigue. There it is. Testimony of a mushroom. Brilliant. Elizabeth mushroom, perhaps? Uh, what else we got then? Sonori opinion. Personal combat learning, learning. Westerman opinion. Not too interested in that one. Um, learning opinion plus five. Movement speed is pretty good. 2.5% movement speed is obviously very nice. If you any sort of generic... Let's go for that one. Damage and siege. That's fine. I was looking for a general opinion or something like that, but that's all right. Wow. Dear son. Look at that. So we... Aegon... House Targaryen has ruled Westeros since Aegon's conquest. We united the Seven Kings into one. We built King's Landing. We forged down throne. We not let our birthright slip away. We just gained a claim on Dragonstone. Uh... Oh... The bloodline of House Martin lays claim to, to traditional ancestral lands, lands that must be reclaimed. The claim is for my house. Does Paolini deserve to be honored with the funeral? I think he absolutely does. We'll invite just the Martin family, because we never know when there are traitors hiding behind every wall. Man, that's a real shame, huh? We didn't quite get to fire off our plot, and we definitely lost, uh... We definitely lost him long before his time. We need to just stay safe. We need to not plot, we need to stick to our guns, and we just need to sort of build up opinion with people again. Good. The High Septimus declared an anathema upon your rival, Sir Elagant, for his sins. Let's kill him. Let's take him out. Firing Cross. I wonder who really paid him, then. That'd be interesting to know, because obviously he himself would not have the power to... Uh, I wonder who has backed that plot, because he himself would not have, have the power to, uh, to deal with that. Go and... Increase our arrest chance. I want him imprisoned and I want him executed before the funeral. 57%. Boom. Kill him. Do we need a trial? We already know he's guilty. Yeah, no, we do not. Uh, hung, drawn, and quartered. What else have we got here? Have we got any cooler options? Nope. Hung, drawn, and quartered it is. Goodbye. Fuck you. That's what you get. <laughs> His son obviously doesn't like us, but hey, we've managed our father. That's the important thing. So again, we've just really got to wait for the tyrannical stain, the dynastic stain to fade away. Those will obviously, over time, really, we just got to keep our people happy. We've got to make sure those closest to us are nicely bribed. We don't really have the gold for it right now, especially as we've got a feast coming up, but that's okay. And we also need a coronation the second we finished our education. Shit, we've still got that to do. Um, right, we find you a better educator than this. Hang on. Bear with me. Um, brave, zealous, authoritative. You know what you'll do, Jackio. Let's get him to train us again. And so it is done. King Paolini Martin was murdered on the orders of Sir Alan the Farring Cross in the second, second moon, 8620 at the age of 34. Our, our life expectancy did increase very, very slightly there for a second. He was unyielding in his devotion to his vows. He was a respected swordsman, being one of the most capable in history. He wielded the famous Valyrian steel greatsword, Ice, the ancestral blade of House Stark. Don't know what you're talking about. Paolini's most famous deed was the slaying of the dragon, an act which earned him great renown throughout the realm. Brilliant. Game four to piety, and King Melville Martin leaves. Well, here we are. I guess we've got our own uh, Moby Dick now to slay him, that being all of our traitorous fucking vassals. Ah, there we go. Very nice. So what other traits did he have then? Uh, brilliant commander. Poor fighter. At long fucking last. He actually gained some fight skill. 28 marshal though, which is insane, but he's nowhere near a Paolini, is he? How has he got 28 marshal? Base of 7. Brilliant commander plus 8. Genius plus 5. Poor fighter. Brave. Light calls playing. King Gunter. It's the boat, don't forget. And dragons dinner bloodline. Well, there we go. Um... 15 Intrigue. I'm going to go for the Intrigue focus, because I think we need to stay alive. That was the one big downside to our previous character. He had all his points into... All his points into Marshall and not a lot else. This guy has the diplomacy necessary. This guy has the Intrigue necessary to really carry us through here. Let's go ahead and command our Household Guard as well. Enforce my will and bring order to the streets. Sure, we lose tax and supply limit, but to be honest, it might be necessary at this stage. It might be necessary, given that our previous ruler was, was assassinated. Without any sort of regard, or without without us having any knowledge of it at all. Now we get coronated, um, which obviously we've got to got to fucking get rid of these. Oh, there we go, problem solved. Now we get coronated, and then hopefully, let's see if we can also very quickly. We've got brave, haven't we? I mean, iron stomach is still fantastic. What's the smell? I have to find out. Get, or we could try and get honourable. Ten percent chance of getting honourable. We've already got brave, so that would probably work out a little bit better than the plus one health, given that the plus one health really didn't help us there at all, did it? Um, Coronation ceremony. We'll spend all our gold that we possibly can on this one. Although, in hindsight, it's 800 gold. Fucking hell. All right. Um, I have neither the time nor the inclination to leave cold water burn for such an event. Wow. Speaking of cold water burn, damn, dude. Chill out. What a what a slap in the face. High Septum approaches me tonight personally to inform me how satisfied he is with the great month of festivity I've organized. Thank you for letting me know. Share about the coffers. Gain diligent for free. Give me that. Give me diligent. It's a little bit of extra vassal opinion. Extravagant coronation giving us the vassal opinion plus 10 as well. What do they think of us? 
We are still well on the chopping block. Holy shit. I would appreciate if the opinion... There we go. Wow, this is not good, is it? Holy shit. Obviously, when we're out of debt, it will make it a little bit better. Um, come rise with us, find some money. Yeah, we don't need a little bit more gold. I don't care about sympathy for the Valyrian faith, to be honest. Didn't really help us at all, did it? I guess I'll give it to Aaron Tidmarsh. On the plus side, though, the people closest to us are the ones that like us. Look at these damn loyalists we've got. I mean, our, our courtiers are going to be some of the ones that would obviously join the murder plot. The most likely ones to murder us then. Those guys like us quite a lot. It's our vassals we have to try and win over. And even then, they're not particularly... Again, now that we're kind of eking out of debt here, they don't hate us quite too much. We're going to tell our mother to stop this nonsense, girl, and remarry. She refuses. Perhaps I'll have to take drastic action. I don't know what that could mean. Can we divorce our wife now? Oh, she's so bad. Come on. She's got to go. We've got to get rid of her and marry off someone better. Given our guy's king, he's envious, he's proud, he's genius, he's cruel. I feel if anybody's going to do it, it, this guy would absolutely be the type of guy to kill off his... To kill off his significant other to get a much better political marriage, genetic marriage. Oh, there we are. That was quick. Dowager Queen Marissa, the mother-in-law does not approve. What a shocker. Okay. She is hopefully dead as dicks, and then we can find someone much, much better. Maybe I should marry a dragon rider. That would work. Oh, no. She's dead. We got away with it. Oh, thank fucking God. I was going to say, if we didn't get away with it, then our dishonor flips into uh, or, or one of these. Actually, we've got two. two oh, dynastic stain and tyrannical stain. Yeah, one I think flips into dishonor, and then we would get our own dishonor level plus the previous dishonor we had, which would suck. Anyway, she's dead as dicks, which is great news. Um... Let's go ahead and find a better wife then. Well, I'm thinking someone who is genius. Genius. Gen genius. No, no one at all. Brilliant. Okay. Firstly, let's buy a wife. Then we'll focus back on the round problems. Genius. Um, women. Preferably unmarried. Who are bribable? Oh, she'll do. Liness. She's pretty good. 19. Chase is a bit of an issue, but that's okay. Um, who else have we got here? For anyone with any other threat, she's really good. Wow. Brawny, brave, charitable. Fucking hell, she's insane. Could I maybe maybe buy a favor from you? We can get her to court. Look at that. She's a lot better. Barbary Snow, is there anyone better than her? Um, obviously, I don't want to go too old here. No, they're all past this point. It's, it's too old for us to worry about. Yeah, let's get her. She's insane. Especially with, with all these crazy good traits. Like, Brawny is obviously very good as well. Holy shit. Right. Get, get here. Boom. This is good. Uh, that's, a, that's a massive step up. Now we can focus on the more important things. Let's go ahead and marry you. What bloodlines has this guy got? I assume it's all the... Yeah, it's all, it's all the regular bloodlines. Everything's still in order with regards to that one. Um, hold a tournament at King's Landing. Sure. That obviously comes with risks that, again, we'll have to entertain our vassals going to debt again, which is maybe a necessary cost of doing business just to help people like us a little bit more. I guess we'll immediately get back on the plot that we had in action against the Stormlands then. So let's go ahead and plot to fabricate treason. 71% really? Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's also spy on him. Bear in mind with the intrigue focus, there is just a small chance that we can uncover a crime and try and imprison him. If, you, if we imprison, try to imprison him and then fail. Oh shit, we've already got the plot firing, huh? 61% just with us? Good God, right? Let's invite some more people. 40% um, chance to succeed. No, we need to wait for a better opportunity because this will quite literally break out into a mass civil war. We are not that much of a respected ruler quite yet. Not enough for me to risk bringing the da Dawn and Stormlands and the Reach into a civil war against us. Oh, wow. Well, what a horrible fucking thing to say. All right, go on then. General opinion minus 10. Fuck it, why not? And she's already pregnant. Great start. Two genius parents. Gotta be a genius child. Uh, what about you as well? Um, Damage of the Iron Throne. Do we want to continue on by... Uh, so I talked about this a couple of episodes ago where we can set the... Um, we could designate a traditional heir title. I don't know that I can be bothered to do that anymore. I think I would just rather hold the title myself personally. Yeah, let's, let's leave it how it is. Um, come on the house of God. I'm not going to bother doing that for the time being... But yeah, we'll, we'll hang on to Rosby. We might as well just get the extra tax out of it, especially as this is going to get very expensive if we're bribing everybody we possibly can, constantly paying people off to not assassinate us anymore. Oh, shit. Well, I was at the tournament, some lower class with pretensions insulted my honor. Could I see what a man of my class could do and challenge him to a duel? He was no match for me. We just getting duelist for free. Wow. 105 personal combat. That matches Paolini, but unlike Paolini, we're just a poor fighter. What does duelist give? Uh, we got plot armor, light claw, brave, honest, poor fire. Duelist gives... Duelist gives no personal combat. 
It's just from genius. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, whatever. Wait, hang on. We don't want to fabricate treason. Don't we want to incite them to revolt instead? If we fabricate treason, I don't believe... Oh, but I don't know if we can revoke titles of that. I mean, it's a safer one, right? Um, yeah, we'll stick with this for the time being. Either that or we can incite them to revolt. But if we incite them to revolt... Fucking hell, that's expensive. If we incite them to revolt, there's... Oh, man, these guys are so expensive. What the hell? Then, obviously, we've got to fight the Stormlands, whatever allies he can pull together. But that's a guaranteed success that we'd be able to revoke it. So, I'm not sure which one is worth pursuing. Especially given the amount of time we're going to have to put into this plot as well. Um, you're in Faring Cross. We want to put you in Storm's End instead. This is a difficult plot to try and pull off. Ah, oh, there we are. We also got knighted. Very cool. Does knight change our personal combat? Nope. Ah, oh, there goes the Martin. Edric the Drunkard. Dead as dicks. What did he die of? Too much drinking. Who'd, who'd have thought it? 37. That's the most long-lived Martin we've had for generations. How bad is that? Oh, wait, his father. Look at that. Rupert lived to 53. That's fucking... That's practically ancient. Venerable Martin right there. Um, of course I will attend. Yeah, this is... Oh, speaking of ancient and venerable. This must be fulfilled. Wall in the West. Naturally. There you are. Young child, you get... Oh, I didn't want to improve relations with him. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Especially because if he likes us too much, we can't incite him to rebellion anymore. As I was bribing people, I accidentally closed the screen that told us we had a new son called Adam Martin, who was not born a genius. Um, I need a name for you then, don't I? I'm going to have to go back to my master list of of, uh, of of good old author names. And I'm just going to type in, how about this? I'm going to type in fantasy author, right? And I'm just going to see what Google throws at me as its top result. Uh, Ursula K. Le Guin. I don't know who she is. What has she written? Um, Earthsea? Hey, Hainish? I've, I've not heard of her. All right, there you go. I'm going to call you Le Guin. Excellent. Welcome, Le Guin Martin. Oh, negotiate annexation with Dragonstone. Wow, okay. Let's do it. Um, I should go personally. Let's see if we can convince these guys to join without me having to clap them. Uh, 40% chance. Fuck, I'm just going to do it. <gasps> we lost Honest. Not bad at all, I'd like to point out. And we got dragon. Uh, we got. We got. Okay, can, so can we revoke title now? He's a traitor. He says maybe. So we might just have to fight him anyway. To be honest, it'd probably be better just fabricate treason, wouldn't it? Uh, probably didn't help that he became a cannibal. Give me the kingdom of the Stormlands. Power base reluctance. He's got six thousand men. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna raise everybody, and we are just gonna stand in the Stormlands. Damn it! Negotiation with Lord Doran have broken down. Terms agreeable to both parties could not be reached. We must leave drift marked empty-handed. In that case, uh, we'll probably just turn up with uh, 141,000 troops, perhaps. I don't know why he didn't say that during the negotiations. Like, hey, you can join us or we can send literally boatloads of dudes here. It's your choice. All right. Um, well, let's go ahead and get these guys into position. Not so close that we're going to take a shitload of attrition when the war actually kicks off. I really do not care about every joust. Please, for the love of God. Oh, there we go. Nice. Climb the winner's purse. I'm not really surprised given this guy. The thing is, I need to do the tournaments because they're so valuable. But I also don't want to sit there. Oh, what a shocker. I also don't want to sit there and piss around dealing with <laughs> with every single joust, you know? Uh, don't bother me with dealing with the small lords here. Good, 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 good for those guys backing their king as is what they're supposed to do. All right, then. Um, so Stormlands. No one else joined the Stormlands, by the way, in the rebellion. Stormlands and this guy, Chittering Brook. Well, you're going to get clapped. Anyway, let's do it. We're here. We're ready to go. I'm looking forward to it. A good old-fashioned war. And now we can revoke everything. We are well within our rights to revoke absolutely everything because he's gone into an open rebellion here. Yeah, I think we pretty much got that on lockdown. Oh, God, you poor people. Um, you guys can stand there and siege there. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The Stormlands is going to be gone in no time at all. Come on, 300 gold. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, me to the small council. Theodore Florent has recommended Sir Aaron Noros be named a king or the member of the King's Guard. Sure, that's fine. Who would make a poor King's Guard? Uh, I mean, you're not terrible. Oh, well. I mean, we, we can't force him, so whatever. We'll find someone else. And they'll keep bothering about me until... Yeah, I was about to say, trust me. They absolutely will keep bothering me. Aaron of Sunspear. There we are. Uh, you're welcome. And then Sir Titus. Certainly he'll be loyal. Look around at Titus kneels before you. Oh, it was the leader of the King's Guard that died. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, they managed to field 2,000 men. The cool thing is, we, we started the attack on... Uh, Storm's End before they could raise all the troops. See all their levy sizes are... Man, they've got a lot of troops trapped here that they can't raise. That's incredible. Um, no, no, thank you. We're not going to give anybody any coin ever. There we are. Another morale of army 10%. Not that we really need it at this stage, to be honest with you. Um, 
So we'll trace those guys down as well. Look at this. This is just too easy. It's too easy. I should always be forcing them into rebellion. Because as we put more Martins on the thrones, they've got less chance of... I mean, Martins aren't going to join a war against us, are they? So next up, the Reach. Force those guys into rebellion. We've got the Stormlands and the Westerlands almost certainly backing us up by default. I mean, they're supposed to anyway, because obviously it, it's part of the Vassal contract. But um, yeah, they're, they're almost certainly going to do it because we're family members. Another 300 gold. Thank you very much. I'll put it with my other mountain of cash there. 53%. Man, I almost want to leave Storm's End so their troops can raise so that we can get some easy war score, but that's all right. This is this is fine. We'll just burn down every single castle in the Storm's End so it's not worth ruling in the first place. Is he surrendering? White Peace. Yeah, good one. He's also at war with the Vale, as I recall. Uh, Yeah, attacking King East of the Mountain of Vale and Storm's End war for Borman's claim on the Trident. Thank God we stopped him when we did. Who's Borman, anyway? Um, be nice if you, if when you click that button, it showed the war. Like, we can go like that and see this one. That would be quite nice. Anyway, um, okay. So they were, they were at war trying to take a massive chunk of land for themselves, I would assume. Look at that. Almost there. Almost there. Another, only another 24 days and we're good. So, Aubrey, welcome to the King's Guard, friend. Thank you very much. 0 0.4, come on. Boom. Storm's End gone. A quite famously difficult to siege castle, hence the name. We've done it. I'll be taking that if you don't mind. Now we've just got to find a Martin to give it to. That's assuming I can revoke everything. We, we were able to the last time, so um, forfeit the Stormlands. Thank you. Uh, I'll be taking that one. Where's the chance we can get impatient here? I'll let this guy bend the knee. I'll let this guy bend the knee at the chance of getting impatient. Let him rot. I'm going to revoke everything you've ever owned, my friend. Uh, he's a traitor. They will not object. I'm going to take just Storm's End first. Yeah, okay. So I'm glad I took Storm's End first. That way we've got a landed start to actually give to the new... Martin, ruler of the Stormlands. Great house. My dynasty. Gender, men, ruler. Nope. And married. Any is fine by me. Okay, who do we want to land then? I'm looking for somebody with, with good di diplomatic skills. Perhaps good martial skills. Rupert's very good. Rupert's married. Has kids of his own. Rupert, I would like to give you land, my friend. But he can't because he's a fucking... Well, that's a shame, isn't it? He's a counselor, so I can't land him. I guess we'll give it to Marit. Can't give it to Marit either. For fuck's sake. They're all outside of my realm. Ugh. Um... Give it to Damond, my rival. Uh, Laren's not bad. He'll have to remarry, though. Here you go. Uh, Storm's End is yours, friend. Storm's End. And then, anyway, if he dies, we'll gain it back. And who's it going to? It goes to a Martin, anyway, if he dies. Stormlands. Boom. Lord Paramount Loren. We got Lord Paramount Tristan Martin. And then we got, obviously, King Melville Martin. Next up, I guess we'll move on to the Reach. You want the High Lordship of Kingswood, huh? I didn't realize we had Kingswood. Um, exchange for a favor? Yeah, why not? I don't want it. Oh my god, he's R'hllor, I assume. Moonsingers? Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm hungry. What food can I buy? I will take your iron stomach. Boom. Oh, we actually got it. Yes, okay. That was really, really good. 20 years of age, and we're already looking at 2,400 prestige. Good god. Okay. Um, what's going on with the with the Reach, then? I'm, I've got to wait for them to... Oh, how's Florent? Uh, at least Florence claim on the reach. Great, so we've got to wait for that to end. I guess we'll start on Dawn instead. Go for you guys. Um, they're at war with Lady Mayor of Dawn for Ma oh, Mayor against Alan Tidmarsh. Damn it. Um, okay. Fabricate treason. 113.3%. We might as well start somewhere, right? And Dawn's still under our kingdom, so we can't do anything to the reach right now. Join me, join me, join me. Oh, this one's going to be an easy one. Look at all these people that want to join us. How much gold do you want? 38. That's a good deal. What about you? 95, I'll do it, even though it's slightly on the more expensive side. There we go. And then the only one left is Rhaegar, Master of Fleabottom. That's fine. 150%. Ah, oh, okay. So I just refused this guy's request to gain a vassal, and now his opinion is less than zero. We can just strip him time to revolt instead. I mean, we might as well cut out the middleman, right? Because there's no way in hell he's going to allow us to just revoke his title and not go into revolt. So we might as well just sort of kind of force his hand in a way and then preempt it because what we get to get a little bit of fair warning when the plot is gonna fire um i'm not bribing master rhaegar for that much gold you can fuck off rhaegar there's a lot of people that want to be bribed this time look at this uh gas lord of duskenale there we are oh that's good how are we looking 217 percent. that's what we're after daughter still not a genius fine whatever um oh i should really be educating my son as well shouldn't i Look at the envoy with, with words here. Chuck over a random guardian. Then we'll educate him personally. Look, we're, we're such a good character that even us educating him is going to make him better than 90% of all of the martial characters, if that's what we want to do. Order him to stand down. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Laren? Of the storm. Laren Martin. 
I don't want one Marcy again in too much power, though. Order and stand down. Oh. <laughs> um, we have the opportunity to either. What's he after? Does your war over Night Song? Is he is he right? He's not making this up, I assume. Where is Night Song then? Um, I have no idea where this title is. To be honest with you, hang on. Night Song, Lordship of Night Song. There it is. Uh, it is part of the Stormlands. Yeah. You know what? He is he is rightfully. So this is what we could do. We could brand him a traitor, have him arrested for treason, which point he might go into rebellion. Name him someone else to rule of the Stormlands, or I will allow it. I will allow it because this is a just war. That it is, that is his du jour claim that he is pressing. I should not intervene there. Ah. Oh. Gain lossful. I'll give her opponent 20%. I mean, to be honest, it's whether we're, basically the question is, do we want 20% um, with the potential of losing it? Or should we just give her the permanent 20%? We lose 15. So it's a 5% net game overall. And we gain chaste. Gives learning, piety, uh, church opinion. Whereas lustful, obviously the opposite is true. Does give intrigue though. No, I need the intrigue score right now, I'm afraid. We're constantly plotting. The last thing we... we we, we can't just do anything. I know that we wouldn't lose intrigue doing that. But I, I, I mean, it's it's free. So I'm, I'm absolutely going to capitalize on that. And what was the bonus? Like 5% fertility? Not worth it. I mean, to be fair, this one is also a flat fertility gain overall. Like, rather than her gaining the 15, we gain the... Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Right. We'll leave it there. Today, we got the Stormlands. Tomorrow, we take Dawn. And I'm hoping the Reach as well. Obviously, we got kind of interrupted there with <laughs> being horribly murdered. Which generally tends to slow you down a little bit. I want to take... Dawn and the Reach before tomorrow. Then the day after, we take the Mountain of Ale, the Trident. Then the day after, we take the North, we take the Iron Islands, and there's a Martyr on every throne. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. We are getting very, very close to our final goal here. Before tomorrow, I'll try and implement, if I get enough time, an end game goal tracker. Something that, that checks whether or not there is a Martin on the throne of Dawn, the Reach, the Stormlands, wherever. So that we can more accurately see what we're dealing with in regards to that. Rather than me just kind of uh, having to manually count them up all the time. I know there's obviously not many, but it's just easier for posterity's sake. Thank you to Orcswolf, Vacuous Backers, Chris, Average Gamer 419, Limpy George, Disorted Triangle, Anthony Gawley, The Potato Eater, Wilson Natef, Scary Scurvy, Chicken Wang, HD, Silkworm, Zazzy711, Tom Terry 18, Slippy Nips, Bad Burrito 316, Cyric 313, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon for making the channel possible during these difficult YouTube times. Thank you guys for making it all possible in the first place. Thank you as well to Tempe, William H, Gray, Organized Confusion, Super Nanny 089, Will Wade, Jason Sushu, Gabriel Vandes, Jeebus Crust, Spirit 085, Zig of the Chaos King, Caron 24, Chronic Blob, Empty Machine, and Strife for their support Patreon as well. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the final parts of our plan all coming together.